what is the crack? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to build muscle. I'm going to provide you with all the knowledge that you need to start building muscle today. Now, i just like to say this video is for everyone. It doesn't matter whether you're fat, skinny, circle, rectangle, purple, I don't care. You can apply the principles that I tell you in this video to start building muscle today. Now, there will be some slight variations on the method than in which you do it, depending on your goals, but we'll talk about that later in the video. Let's go. So, no matter what your goals, in order to build muscle, you must do resistance training with progressive overload and eat a high protein diet. Now, if you don't know what any of this stuff is, don't worry because I'm going to tell you what it is. Resistance training, it's basically just another word for weight training or strength training or going to the gym. It's just when you put resistance on your muscles, they get bigger, everyone's happy. In order to build muscle, it's important that you not only do resistance training, but you also do it with progressive overload. But what is progressive overload? Progressive overload is progressively overloading. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm only joking, but basically your body isn't going to adapt and get bigger unless it has to. So when you apply progressive overload, this basically means that you're gradually increasing the weight, the reps and the sets of specific exercises that you're doing to gradually increase to progressively overload, if that makes sense. So like, um, let's say you see someone doing like a fucking 500 kg deadlift or something. They didn't just wake up one day and think, I'm gonna do a 500 kg deadlift. They had to start off and build up slowly and slowly and slowly. So like when you, when you lift weights, your muscles, I don't wanna get into all the fancy stuff, but basically your muscles are repaired every time you like lift weights. And they're, when they're repaired, the guys are repairing them are like, we need to do a better job because this wasn't good enough. So then they make them stronger and that's how you get bigger and stronger and better. And that's why we're fucking progressive overload is what you need. To sum up all the mumble that just came out of my mouth, progressive overload is basically gradually increasing the amount of stress that you put on your muscles so that they can adapt and grow. Magic. So now you know that... <coughs> Sorry about that. So now you know that you need to perform resistance training with progressive overload in order to gain muscle. But does is that all you have to do? No, it's not. Obviously, there's not. It's not just that simple. You need to eat a high protein diet as well. Now the reason that you need to eat a high protein diet is because basic. I don't. I hate getting complicated. But like, see when the way I talked about your muscles, like repairing and growing, like then it's called protein synthesis. It's called protein synthesis, and they need protein in order to do that. So let's say if you have two twin brothers who are doing an identical workouts and all, and one of them's getting the required amount of protein and the other one is not, the person that's getting the required amount of protein is going to have better results, better recovery, better everything. I remember. I recommend you eat 1.6 to 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. This will give you all the stuff that you need in order to complement the training. So basically, protein doesn't give you muscles, but it helps build muscles if you're doing resistance training with progressive overload. Right, so what have you learned so far? You need to do resistance training with progressive overload. You need a high protein diet. And yeah, that's it. But it's important to remember that all of these things are for gaining muscle, but people have different goals. So for example, example, fucking example lot. So for example, a skinny person looking to gain muscle and get bigger is going to have different goals than a fat person looking to gain muscle, but be less fat. Let's start with fat people who want to lose fat and gain muscle at the same time. Now, lots of people will say, you can't lose fat and build muscle at the same time. You need to be either cutting or bulk and shut the fuck up. This might be true for a seasoned lifter who is lifting all the time and has, doesn't have much fat and already has a decent level of muscle. But for a beginner, so basically there's three sorts of people, that well four technically, that can uh, lose fat while gaining muscle at the same time. A complete beginner who has no gym experience. Someone that is detrained, sorry about that, didn't mean any offense. Someone that is detrained, which means they haven't trained in like eight months or more. Uh, someone that has very high levels of fat or else someone that's on steroids but I, I don't recommend the steroid but so basically if you're new to the gym you have high levels of fat you can lose the fat and gain muscle at the same time by applying these principles while being in a calorie deficit so you should stay in a calorie deficit and you will do both at the same time now what about if you want to lose fat and gain muscle but you've been going to the gym for a while and you've already built up a good level of muscle and don't have that much fat on you 
Well, the bad news is you're not going to be able to gain muscle while losing fat. Well, most people aren't depends on genetics and stuff like that. But when you lose fat in a calorie deficit and apply progressive overload resistance training with a high protein diet, you will maintain your muscle or lose minimum muscle while your fat percentages drops. So when your fat percentage drops, automatically your muscle percentage increases so while technically speaking you haven't gained any muscle you will look better and you will look bigger and you will look more muscular happy right to use an example of myself here's me before i started resistance training with progressive overload and here's me after now the full time i had actually lost weight by being in a calorie deficit but i'm sure you'll agree it looks like i have more muscle when technically i actually don't i just have higher muscle percent and lower fat percent right so what about the skinny people don't worry i haven't forgot about you if you're skinny and you're looking to bulk up and gain muscle what you need to do is eat in a calorie surplus now what this means is you have your maintenance calories this is the calories that are required to make you maintain your weight you want to eat above these calories while applying all the principles that I've previously talked about in the video, resistance training with progressive overload and high protein diet. To work out your maintenance calories, go onto the TDEE calculator. I'll leave a link in the description and you just type in all your details. It works, out, works it out for you. And then what I recommend is eating about 10%, 15% maximum above these maintenance calories because once you eat more than that, you're just going to be putting on fat. Like basically, there's only a certain amount of muscle that you can put on at any one time. Like, have you ever heard someone saying like, oh, you need to eat big to get big. There's a uh, uh, fucking drink like 400 pints of milk a day. That's bullshit. Like you're just going to get fat. You're looking to do this to get, get in good shape. Like you're not, you don't want to get fat. So 10, 15% above the maintenance at most while applying the principles and you're going to be in good shape without getting too fat. Yeehaw. Last approach is for people that are skinny fat. Now, if you're skinny fat, your body fat percentage is too high, but you might not not necessarily uh, you might not necessarily look at with like your clothes on and stuff. Now, you have two options: you can either go on a calorie deficit and lose the fat first, then go on a calorie surplus and gain your muscle, or you can just go in a calorie surplus. It's really up to you. You can play around with it, do whatever. At the end of the day, if you're Go on a calorie surplus and you don't like the you're building fat at the same time you can always change it it's not like a fucking sat in stone thing you can you can play around with it hope that you enjoyed this video and you learned something i've done quite a bit of research into this video and put a good bit of effort into it so i hate saying it but like if you want to hit like and subscribe i would really appreciate it also if you want to follow me on instagram i use instagram to like post most of my smaller videos and stuff like just every few days and then youtube is just for my bigger sort of videos so if you want to follow me on instagram do that too but see you in the next video